Meanwhile, as for the cross-state rivals from Michigan, they were the first to play their spring game in the Big Ten, so maybe getting some of the bad taste from last year out of their mouths and a chance to see the true freshman Tate Forcier, who was there for spring ball, get the start. Remember Forcier enrolling early, and here showing off some of his mobility, takes it into the end zone from about 10 yards out. Another interesting recruiting story. Last year, of course, Roy Roundtree, who they got at the 11th hour from Purdue and Roundtree there. Nice diving catch for the touchdown on the pass from Forcier. On the ground for the offense, it's Carlos Brown. Plenty of running room there, and Brown going 82 yards for the touchdown. A big play, notably absent from Michigan's offense last year. They get some of it there. But Forcier was the guy everyone wanted to see unofficially. 10 of 13, 133 yards, four TDs, no picks, hits Roundtree there. Forcier also ran again unofficially for 43 yards. Forcier here to Greg Matthews, who wins the battle with Floyd Simmons to come down with it. And then the running backs doing their part as well. Kevin Grady just keeps on churning and runs it in for the score. So impressive offensive showing for the Wolverines. Had to feel good about that. Didn't feel so good about this. Year one under Rich Rodriguez. Truly as bad as it gets in Ann Arbor. The nine losses set a school record. But as you see at the bottom, year two has been kind to Rich Rod in the past. Has a lot of familiar faces back to help him turn things around, including that entire starting offense. And that's one of those classic good news, bad news things, Jerry, because you look at this offense, 109th in the nation last year in total offense. They averaged less than 300 yards per game. Obviously, quarterback, a huge part of that. You saw 4CA in person. What do you think? Is he the answer? Yeah, he's part of the answer for sure. But two things jump out at you right away when you go to practice. One, the transition has been completed as far as how Rich Rodriguez wants his team to practice. Lloyd Carr practiced one way. It's taken them a year to teach him a different way of practicing. The second thing is Tate Forcier was a great addition to the Michigan team in the spring. Not that he's going to be a great quarterback or not that he's not going to be a great quarterback. I mean, we're going to have to let this play itself out. But he is a, a great addition in the transition of the offenses from a pro to a spread attack. The day I was there, Nick Sheridan got hurt on the last play of the practice. I'm not sure if they'd have gotten anything done in the spring offensively if it wasn't for Tate Forcier enrolling early. So it was a great move. Uh, but again, the practice situation, a year ago, Howard, it was a scream fest because they were just trying to teach him how they wanted him to practice. Much different atmosphere this year at practice. Well, when you watch Forcier throw the football, I think that's going to be critical. We know he has the athletic ability to run it, but when you watch him throw it, he looks poised. He looks confident to be able to throw the ball down the field. That's going to help him. But you have to have a strong running game to really help out a young quarterback when he gets into trouble. Brandon Miner is a player that has been able to really step up and show some big play potential. Struggled a little bit last year, having to share some time uh, at running back at the running back position. But when he gets going, it's a player that can really step up. It's going to be important that Michigan finds their running game, finds it early. You see Brown breaking off the big 80-yard run there. That's going to help the quarterback situation. Stay out of those long yardage situations where defenses can just tee off and go after the quarterback. But thank goodness they've got a quarterback who can scramble, but run the football and run it consistently. As you mentioned, something they didn't do particularly well last year. And for all the focus on the offensive struggles last year, to a certain extent it overshadowed the fact that defense wasn't so hot either, particularly given the high expectations. Coach, now new defensive coordinator, Greg Robinson, the former head coach at Syracuse, comes over to run the Wolverines' defense. What did you see when you were at practice? Well, I, I saw a defense that is in position to lead to transition. In fact, I think that's where most of the pressure should be put on. Yes, it's the third defensive coordinator in three years. Yes, they only have five defensive starters returning. But the transition in college football is less on the defensive side than it is on the offensive side, especially at, in the Michigan program. Usually when you take over a program, you lack players on the defensive side. That's not the case with Michigan. So I see that even though most of the players are, are, are not returning on defense. The transition in the second year of the Rich Rodriguez program 
has to be led by the defense. Well, I think you're right. When you talk about that defense having to step up, they didn't get it done last year, and they're going to have to get it done this year, and I think it's going to be important. So, Coach, I think you're right. When you talk about that transition, they have to have some consistency on that defensive side of the football to really go out and dominate so that that offense can have an opportunity to develop as a unit. You know, normally when you go through spring, the defense is usually out in front because all they have to do really is react to what the offense is doing. When you have great athletes, that makes that transition a lot easier. Yeah. I think the fact that Greg Robinson, a veteran defensive guy, is put in a difficult situation, third defensive coordinator, three years, gives them a chance to make it work. Well, plenty of room for improvement, that's for sure, for Robinson's crew. Only Indiana gave up more points per game in Big Ten play than Michigan did last season.